Electric vehicles represent the future of automotive technology, but the road to innovation is often paved with failures. Today, we're examining the 10 worst electric cars ever produced, highlighting critical flaws in design, engineering, and execution that have hindered the progress of electric vehicle adoption. Let's start our countdown with number 10, the Fiat 500e, produced from 2013 to 2019. This small electric car faced numerous challenges that made it a headache for owners. The power inverter module was prone to failure, often leaving drivers stranded with a complete loss of motive power. Adding to the troubles, the battery pack suffered from poor sealing, allowing water to seep in and damage the cells. This not only reduced the battery capacity but also posed potential safety risks. The 500E's problems didn't stop there. Its constant velocity joint design was notably fragile, leading to premature failures and excessive drivetrain wear. Perhaps most telling was Fiat's financial loss on the model. The company lost approximately $14,000 on every 500E sold, a clear indication of fundamental flaws in its production strategy and electric powertrain design. Moving on to number 9, we have the Smart 4.2 electric drive from 2013 to 2015. This compact electric vehicle was severely limited by its small 17.6 kilowatt hour battery, offering a real world range of less than 70 miles. Its underpowered 55 kilowatt electric motor resulted in poor highway performance and inadequate acceleration, making it impractical for anything beyond short city trips. The 4.2 electric drive also lacked active thermal management for its battery pack, leading to significant performance variations in different climate conditions. To compound matters, the 12-volt battery was prone to failure due to parasitic drain, often resulting in vehicle immobilization even when the main battery was fully charged. At number 8, we find the Mitsubishi i Meve, sold from 2012 to 2017. This early mass-market electric vehicle demonstrated several critical shortcomings that limited its appeal and functionality. Its small 16-kilowatt-hour battery translated to a real-world range often under 62 miles, barely enough for a round-trip commute for many users. Charging the i Meve was a test of patience, with level 2 charging limited to a maximum of 3.3 kilowatts, and even its Chad MO direct current fast charging capped at 50 kilowatts. The car's climate control system was notably weak, struggling in extreme temperatures and significantly impacting both range and passenger comfort. Poor sound insulation resulted in excessive road noise, further detracting from the driving experience. Although it's not a fully electric car, the Fisker Karma plug-in hybrid from 2012 secures the number 7 spot as a luxury vehicle that promised much but delivered a host of problems. Owners frequently experienced high-voltage battery malfunctions, often requiring complete pack replacement a costly and time-consuming process. The cooling system was another weak point, with coolant leaks causing short circuits in the electrical system and creating potential fire hazards. Even the Karma's innovative features fell short. The solar roof panel, designed to supplement the car's energy, was prone to delamination and failure, negating its intended benefits. Perhaps most concerning was the unstable vehicle control software, which exhibited unpredictable behavior and compromised both safety and reliability. Halfway through our list at number six is the BMW Y3, specifically models from 2014 to 2016. BMW's first mass-produced electric vehicle faced several challenges that tarnished its innovative image. The range extender option, meant to alleviate range anxiety, instead introduced new problems with fuel pump issues and software glitches leading to unexpected shutdowns. The i3's high-voltage battery saw capacity loss exceeding expected rates, significantly impacting the car's long-term usability. While the carbon fiber reinforced plastic plastic body was a technological feat. It resulted in extremely costly and complex repairs. In range-extended models, faulty fuel tank pressure sensors caused stalling and reduced the effectiveness of the range extension feature, further compromising the car's practicality. Moving to number 5, we have the Ford Focus Electric from 2012 to 2014. Ford's foray into the electric vehicle market was marred by multiple technical difficulties. Door latch sensor malfunctions were common, causing persistent door ajar warnings and battery drain from interior lights remaining on. More critically, high-voltage battery contactor issues often resulted in sudden loss of power, creating potential safety hazards on the road. The Focus Electric's thermal management system was poorly designed, leading to reduced range in extreme temperatures, a significant drawback for an already range-limited vehicle. Charging system problems, including charging port lock actuator failures, sometimes prevented cable release, 
adding frustration to the ownership experience. At number four, we find the Jaguar I-Pace from 2019 to 2020. Despite its luxury status and impressive performance specs, the I-Pace suffered from several critical issues that impacted its reliability and user experience. Software bugs caused significant discrepancies between displayed and actual range, leading to range anxiety and difficulties in trip planning. The I-Pace also experienced regenerative braking system failures, reducing energy recovery efficiency and impacting overall vehicle range and performance. Issues with the electrical system led to frequent 12-volt battery depletion, sometimes resulting in complete vehicle immobilization. The infotainment system was plagued by instability, with frequent freezes and reboots affecting various vehicle functions and detracting from the luxury experience Jaguar aimed to provide. Our number three spot goes to the first-generation Nissan LEAF from 2011 to 2012. As one of the pioneers in the mass-market electric vehicle space, the LEAF unfortunately encountered several significant problems. Most notably, its lithium-ion battery experienced rapid capacity loss, especially in hot climates, due to the lack of an active thermal management system. This dramatically reduced the car's range and value over time. The LEAF's power management system was also problematic. Turtle mode, which severely limited power output to preserve battery charge, often triggered earlier than expected, compromising vehicle usability. The battery management system provided inaccurate range estimates, leading to range anxiety and trip planning challenges. Some models also also experienced corrosion problems with the Chedimo fast charging port, hindering rapid charging capabilities. Runner-up at number two is the Tesla Model X, specifically early models from 2016 to 2017. Even Tesla's advanced electric vehicle technology couldn't prevent significant issues in this complex vehicle. The signature Falcon Wing doors, while innovative, were plagued by frequent misalignment, sensor failures, and motor burnouts, affecting functionality and reliability. The Model X also suffered from premature failures of the media control unit due to excessive logging, resulting in complete touchscreen and control system failure, a critical issue given the car's reliance on the central screen for most functions. Air suspension compressor failures led to sagging suspension, affecting ride quality and vehicle height adjustment. Interior quality didn't meet expectations either, with premature seat wear and interior trim separation occurring due to subpar material quality. Finally, we arrive at number one, the Chevrolet Bolt EV, specifically models from 2017 to 2019. The Bolt takes the top spot due to its severe and widespread issues that culminate in one of the largest and most costly recalls in electric vehicle history. The root cause was a manufacturing defect in the LG Chem battery cells, involving a torn anode tab and a folded separator, which created a significant fire risk. Beyond the battery defect, the Bolt experienced battery management system failures resulting in sudden loss of propulsion, a serious safety concern. Improper cell balancing caused reduced range and premature battery degradation, significantly impacting the vehicle's long-term usability. The the charging system was also flawed, with a poorly designed charging port prone to corrosion and failure. The extensive nature of the battery defect led to a prolonged and complex recall process. Some vehicles required parking restrictions for extended periods due to fire risk, severely impacting owners' ability to use their cars. The Bolt's issues not only affected individual owners, but also dealt a significant blow to consumer confidence in electric vehicles as a whole. These 10 electric vehicles represent cautionary tales in the evolution of electric vehicle technology. Their failures highlight the importance of robust engineering, thorough testing, and effective quality control in the development of electric vehicles. As the industry continues to advance, learning from these missteps is crucial for creating more reliable, efficient, and safe electric vehicles for the future.